This has been an amazing day. We started out with heavy downpour of rain, wondering if it was going to clear off or if we had to use our rain contingency and, and have the ceremony inside. And God has provided. <laughs> And he stopped the rain and allowed this beautiful ceremony to happen. Slide it right in front of the stand, and then, or we can go ahead and go on top of that. I'm going to talk a little bit about Miles and Christy. To their first meeting at Rebels, uh, I think I actually I asked for Christy's number for Miles to make sure he got it that night. I wanted to make sure that she was such a good catch. I remember the day I learned about Miles, Christy called me on the phone, she's like, Lisa, she was so excited, I've never heard her so excited before, and she's like, I met the most amazing guy, he's funny, and he's smart, and he's really cute too, <laughs> and from that day on, I've been uh, with them in their journey, and I can honestly say, and I can confirm that Miles is perfect for my sister, with one exception. Whoop, he's a tea sipper. Come on into my crib for the day. <laughs> Miles and Christy warmly welcome you to this memorable day. You know, it's a great privilege to be counted among their closest friends and family to share this day and rejoice alongside of them. I know that many of you are concerned about this mixed marriage between an Aggie and a Longhorn, but I want you to know right up front, we, in our premarital counseling time, we got Miles to make sure and commit to buying some tickets to Aggie land at Kyle Field. You can send those to my address, Miles. I know God has a sense of humor because he sent a Longhorn to be a part of an Aggie family. So as long as the Aggies and Longhorns aren't playing football, I think we'll get along just fine. Hi, how are we looking guys? Looking strong? Like UT in the first half. Grab my hand. Yo. Game on. Don't be afraid. Love my presence. <laughs> he says, my sweet potato, my best friend, my partner in crime, the soon to be Mrs. McGriff. Here we go, babe. Today's the day. I can't believe it. But all the hard work and long days and sickness and ups and downs and everything in between has brought us to this moment and it is absolutely beautiful. Sometimes I can't even put into words just how amazing I feel and how it just blows my mind everything that has taken place for God to bring us to this moment. I have waited a long, long time for this day and God was patient and saved me for you. Without His hand, there is no telling where my life might have gone. I had so many opportunities to steer way off course and he kept bringing me back and I truly believe it was to be here and to be present and to be the man that you needed me to be. You are the most patient and loving and caring person I've ever met. You are a friend to all and I'm constantly learning from you how to be a better person. This is our chance to pass on the legacy of love. You are the most beautiful person I have ever met inside and out. God really outdid himself when it came time to create you. I look forward to all the amazing memories we have yet to create, and I know that we will get through anything life throws at us. Individually, we may be pretty strong in the weight room and in life, but together we are a bond stronger than all others. I love you with all my heart and soul, and will always be here to comfort, to protect, to lead, and to support you. You are my best friend, my lover, my confidant, my sweet potato, and now you will be my wife. Love you forever, Miles.
on this day, I give myself completely. I commit myself to love you fully and to always remain faithful to you. I commit my life to helping you grow in your love for and knowledge of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. I submit to you as the head of our household, and I place your joy and life before my own. I pledge myself to be involved with you in God's plan for reaching the world for Christ. And I acknowledge Christ as Lord of our marriage in every area of my life. I, Christine, take you not to be my husband, to have him to hold, to stay for, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. As much as Miles McGriff and Christy Denman have consented together in holy marriage and have declared the same before God and these witnesses, I therefore, by the power vested in me by the great state of Texas, pronounce them husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one tear apart. Miles. Yes. You may kiss your bride. Finally. <laughs> okay. We only get to do it once. Ladies and gentlemen, I hold the great privilege of presenting to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Miles McGill. On this day, I give myself completely to you. I commit myself to love you as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. I will always be faithful to you. 
I commit my life to helping you grow in your love for and knowledge of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. I will lovingly lead you and our household, and I will place your joy and life before my own. I pledge myself to be involved with you in God's plan of reaching the world for Christ. And I acknowledge Christ as Lord of our marriage in every area of my life. I, Miles, take you, Christy, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow.